Welcome to the very first Pocket Gamer iPhone podcast. Coming up, we'll be taking a look at the latest zombie-themed games to stagger onto the iPhone, as well as the first Brothers in Arms game to come to the platform. We'll also be putting Midnight Pool, Spin, and Sci-Fly through our grueling reviews process. So keep your hands off and your eyes on your touchscreens and prepare yourself for transmission number one. Comebacks are something zombies are pretty good at, being reanimated corpses and all, and their recent resurgence in the gaming world has not been lost on the iPhone. In fact, there are two new zombie games on the way, and they are both looking like great schlock horror fun. The first, Zombie Mangle from Fart Games, takes a no-nonsense approach to gruesomely dealing with shuffling members of the undead. You're given a first-person perspective and a typical arsenal of weapons with which to dispatch fields of grazing brain-eaters. At the moment, the graphics look great, but a varied structure and tight controls will be a must to see this ambitious-looking blaster through to must-have status. Tackling zombies with a somewhat unconventional choice of genre, Zombie Drive from developer Fuel Industries has you mowing down streets of them using a supercharged muscle car. It looks like deliciously violent fun with a healthy smattering of the tongue-in-cheek humour that suits the world of zombies so well. It certainly sounds like less than typical zombie fare, and the visuals are certainly no slouch either, so fingers crossed the gameplay matches the promising premise. Gameloft has just announced Brothers in Arms Hour of Heroes for the iPhone, and it's looking absolutely incredible. In fact, incredible is the right word, as in it's not really credible that any of the amazing footage from the trailer is actually in-game. We'd love to be proven wrong, however, and if anyone can do it, Gameloft can. Let's hope that the company earns a purple heart rather than a black and blue beating when it comes to review time. The concept behind Spin the Silhouette game is literally child's play. The game relies on the same shape slotting games we all played as children, but that's not to say that Spin is too easy. Trying to force the shape of a parrot on a perch through a silhouette that initially looks not unlike the Gulf of Mexico is no mean feat. The silhouettes are typically positioned at very odd angles, causing the small parts to look much bigger than they are and vice versa. Time is your enemy here, and Spin is a test of how quickly you can detangle the skewed geometry. Twisting and turning the shape with your finger is the way you go about this, and it's incredibly easy to do so via a series of self expansion touchscreen gestures. Success is often a matter of luck, however, and stumbling across a solution unwittingly mid-move is not uncommon. It does rob the challenge of some of its potency, but there are point rewards for using the fewest moves possible and chaining successful matches together. It's worth noting that Spin is one of the most stylishly presented iPhone games yet, with a grand variety of shapes to manipulate and plenty of different backgrounds all slathered in shimmering layers of colour and animated details. All in all, Spin is a great looking, great fun original puzzler, totally at odds with a throng of bland match maps out there. In other words, it's essential for your iPhone. Alien invasions, talking robots, polished use of the accelerometer. Some things require greater imagination than others. Sci-Fly Dogfight demonstrates the latter is barred from the realm of fiction, making masterful use of tilt controls for some spot-on flight action. Flying is as simple as tilting your handset to dive, climb and bank left and right. Along with basic movement, you can also roll your ship by tapping the left and right arrows in the respective bottom corners of the touchscreen. Firing your weapon is done by pressing the upper right corner of the screen. A gauge restricts how often you can fire, refilling when your weapon is not in use. Each ship comes with a single unique weapon, and getting your hands on them all costs valuable credits earned during battle. Two points are awarded per kill, while crashing or being shot down costs you a point. Bonuses are doled out for quick completion and are multiplied by the level of difficulty. The four fighters and three levels on offer limit the game's long-term value, but the game has more polish than a Scandinavian furniture shop, and the short time you do spend with it is great fun. Like many works of science fiction, Sci-Fly has an intriguing hook but little substantive content. But don't let that put you off. If quick-fire sci-fi dogfighting is what you're after, this is where it's at. Despite the title, Midnight Pool probably won't have you thumbing your way into the twilight, but it certainly has enough substance to entertain for a few odd moments. There are American, UK or Nine Ball rules, and if you get bored of playing straight games, you can try your hand at a raft of special challenges that require specific manoeuvres on the table such as avoiding a ball or hitting one ball before landing another. Money earned from winning games gets turned right around to place bets on new games. Sadly, you can't spend your winnings on new items because they don't exist. It's disappointing considering you rack up tens of thousands of dollars and can't throw around a cent of it. Controls make or break any pool game and it's no exception here. The touchscreen enables intuitive control, but also introduces complication when it comes to matters of precision. While taking shots is straightforward enough, Placing a foul ball back on the table is just clumsy, no matter how slender your digits are. The graphics are a triumph, however, and the hot seat multiplier mode is excellent. Were it not for the accuracy problems, Midnight Pool would have been a genuine reason to burn the midnight oil. It's not the pool shark it could have been, but Midnight Pool is still well worth checking out during more sociable hours. 
Thanks for watching the Pocket Gamer iPhone Gaming Podcast. If you're looking for more iPhone gaming news, reviews, and features, you can download the Pocket Gamer iPhone application from the App Store. Or just point your Safari browser at www.pocketgamer.co.uk forward slash iPhone. That's it for now, so until next week, happy Pocket Gaming.